the Hitachi Bathtub Challenge is back. Pitting teams of electricians, plumbers, builders and motor mechanics in a race to run the ultimate bath. Our four teams will be tasked with designing and building a bathtub vehicle powered by Hitachi Power Tools. Our teams got into the flow by drawing lots for a complete bathtub kit, including the tub itself plus a push bike. They also have access to £40 worth of additional equipment from the local merchants. Then comes the power source, and there's two choices here. The first, an 18 volt combi drill with a 6 amp hour battery, delivering 136 newton metres of torque. Alternatively, they've got the choice of two. 18 volt combi drills with a 2.5 amp hour battery delivering 55 newton meters of torque each. Well for me, because I'm a designer, it's all about styling, cleverness, innovation with the designs, and remarkably, they're all completely different yet again. Yeah, it, it always fascinates me in design. You can have a classroom of 30 kids, you give them all a shoebox, and every one of them will do something completely different, which possibly says a lot about these guys, that they're probably just a bunch of kids, really. <laughs> So let's see how our intrepid teams are getting on. Well basically we've had to change our design from yesterday. We did start off with a tank drive left and right and we were going to be able to manoeuvre and we were the only team to go with two drills. However, we've got a bit of a problem with bicycle wheels because they have a free wheel. We're trying to sort it so that we can get a drive each side like this. So that's this side working fine. But as you can see there's the free wheel operating and that's no good. If we spin the drill that way it just won't work. Well basically we're trying to build a trike. Uh, and try and make it as fast as possible. Uh, we've basically switched all the uh, drive around to try and get it correct. And uh, yeah, we're in the middle of the process now. We realised we don't have a lot of time, so we cracked on yesterday. We realised the time soon flies. So that was the lesson learnt last year, you don't have enough time. It's ready to go. We've tested it, it does run. So we're just waiting for the drill. And we still wanted to make it look like a bath. We've done it slightly different, we had the shower and everything, but we've still got the taps and the rubber ducts and everything, so we still wanted it to look like a bath. I think it's supposed to look like a sidecar, motorbike and sidecar idea. Um, we're aiming for reliability is the main thing. We, we, we don't want to have any breakdowns or any bits falling off or buckled wheels. We just we want to make sure the thing gets around the track first. And then if we can if we can get around the track and you know we've we've done a bit on the design and made it look a bit pretty, then that's all great. We want to 10 laps without any breakdowns. Our tub dumpers are putting the finishing touches to their vehicles. Then they'll be soaking up the pressure of four individual challenges. First fastest lap on this course, then endurance, how many laps each vehicle can complete. Then they'll be judged separately on design and on innovation. Here we are, it's race day, the sun is shining and it's about 10 minutes till the chequered flag. This machine is by the electricians and I kind of really like it, it's quite stylish, I think it's semi aerodynamic. A negative point I must point out is the shin damaging contraption here, but other than that a pretty stylish machine. I'm in love with this seat, this seat is actually the off cut from the front where the wheel goes and it reminds me of an old vintage tractor seat and I think that is gorgeous. Very simple drive mechanism, not a lot to go wrong directly onto the tyre there and of course a built-in stereo. So it's good. it looks good and it sounds good. From a styling point of view, I think the builders here have done a wonderful job. It looks like a 1950s racer with that lovely swooping front end nose. They've even put this nice little bit of insulation pipe lagging around the cut edges. 
and the driver sits right down within so this will handle beautifully if they get up to speed like that one a lot visually probably my favorite we've got the rubber ducks as the crumple zone brass taps headlamp number plate whether we like it or not this is a lovely design and also it's quite innovative keeping the bicycle as one entire piece no point chopping it up and repurposing it if it works simple drivetrain again directly onto the tire there I think this could surprise everybody and actually go for quite a long time and pretty quick. The newcomers, the mechanics, they've approached this completely differently. We've never seen a machine like it. They've got a double drive. Both the rear wheels on this are driven. I'm not entirely sure they know how that's going to work or if it's going to work, but if it does, it's a potential winner, isn't it? it? Looks a bit on the wobbly side. The driver sits in the front quarter, which is potentially very topoly. Um, and the weight distribution looks a bit uneven, the rear wheel's quite far forward, but once this thing's going, with that double drill drivetrain, could surprise everybody. I think it's over to the start line. Bar time has never been more competitive. Let's get these Hitachi tubs on the track. First up, fastest lap. Well, that went well for some and not so well for others, but now it's back to the pits for a bit of tinkering before the endurance test. So we'd like to say you're all winners, but you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so in fourth place, it's the new team, the Mechanics, with 21 points. Yay! In third place, with 24 points, is the Builders. Yay! One point between first and second place. In second place with 25 points are... Is that long enough? <laughs> second place are the Plumbers. Which means the winners of the Bathtub Challenge 2016 are the Electricians. Congratulations! Congratulations. <laughs> 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 <laughs>